Hi, welcome to my blog. Today we are going to talk about replication errors and the repair. So before we go to the repair mechanism, we should know about mutations. Like there we are going to talk about first two kinds of mutation. First point mutation and then the friendship mutation. In point mutation, there is a change of mutation where uh, transition you can find this change of purine to purine and pyrimidine to pyrimidine whereas in transversion there is a opposite change like purine to pyrimidine and pyrimidine to purine so if you take this as an example like this as a template sequence we are going to take only this base like AT so after first round of replication what are you going to find out if this one acts as a template then T should give rise to binding with A. So it gives so it's bound with A. So it is good. But if there is a mutation, if you see here this when this one acts as a template and there's a misincorporation, then they can see A binds with G, but it should bind with T. Further round of replication which will give rise when A with, with this one, this one acts as a template and gives rise to bounded T. And this one, if as a template, you guys to see. So if you just just match up, like you can see, there's a total change from first DNA sequence to the third one. Another kind of mutation we are going to talk about is frame sheet mutation. What are frames? In a frame consists of three nucleotides which is known as together three which is, has given as codon one like in three nucleotides codes for a single amino acid further if there is a incorporation of a ins or incorporation or an insertion of a nucleotide what are we going to get if there is an insertion then this is total change of amino acid sequence the frame this frame remains intact, but after bind, after the insertion of T, you can see this shift of the frame. Like T along with two more nucleotides forms a single codon. Initially, triple C formed a single codon. So you can see this general change from proline to serine and further. So it requires some, these kinds of mutations require repair mechanism to repair the whole system. So what is the mismatch repair pathway? We are going to talk about mainly in the in prokaryote there is a system called uh, mute S where in DNA after the DNA got synthesized by polymerase mute S just scans the DNA if there is a chance of any source of misincorporation. If there is a misincorporation of a DNA, you can find a kink formation. In the 3D structure, if you see, this is the mute S and this is the kink formed. So, after this mute S bound, identified and bound to the nucleotide which is just misincorporated, then it recruits two more like mute L and mute H proteins. Mute AL allows the mute H to nick few bases near to the mismatch. After it is nicked, the exonucleus cleaves further and gives round give round to a give rise to a gap. So this gap should be filled by DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase further comes uh, like DNA polymerase three go just go through the mismatch and Get synthesize the gap and further the gap is ligated with DNA ligase so it is totally repaired thank you hope you understand and have a good day